But um, I'm going to a baby shower. So I said I could see if my mom can get her. Uh, what time are you trying to drop her off? Like he said like 1.30. If not, he can drop her off to his dad or he can bring her to where y'all at. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, that's fine. Just let me know. Yeah, I'm going to call him and ask him what he's going to do. Okay. Bye bye. Alright. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <sighs> so yeah. I'm calling. I had to call my mom because me and this dad was asking to drop off a bit early, but I had plans today. So it was like Hey, uh, my mom and dad are in Trevos. They're doing like a flea market. Um, okay. You can drop her off to them up there if you want. Or okay. you can. I'm probably going to ask my dad. Yeah, but I said, or you can just call and ask your dad. So. Okay, how are you? I'm good. Okay, good. How, how's the baby? Good. Growing. Well, I don't know what I'm having yet. I got like two more weeks to find out. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, so exciting. Yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Alright, bye bye. Bye. So yeah, so that's done. But now look at the flashes. Hey, he said he just want to ask his dad because, um, yeah, that's all. Okay. <laughs> um, but I was going to ask you anyway if, if I can, if you can watch her tomorrow for me for a little bit. Right. Because, um, Tiki's want, Tiki want to have like a little birthday thing at this bar. But she said it started at 7, so I was only going to stay till like 9. Anyway. All right. All right. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. All right. Bye -bye. Probably not. Mike's about to bring me though at like two o'clock. So it's dead. Okay, I guess we got something to do. I don't know. Um, so these are the lashes. Um, see, I need two mascaras. <laughs> okay, I want to put some on my lips. This is my Hemp's Pure Herbal Extract. Uh, I guess like lip balm, chapstick stuff. It just moisturizes it on. Steph says she'll be here at one. So it gave me time to take some pictures outside too. Well, it's 12 20. Yeah, she said I'm hopping in the shower and then I'm on my way. Sorry, I should be there at one. I'm like, that's perfect. Did you, did you say that? Yeah. Alright, so lips are not crusty and dry looking. Now I'm debating on if I want to do blush because I like kind of like contour my blush, but I think the eyes is like enough. So I'm just going to highlight what well, highlighter. I got this little Becca highlighter. It looks like this and it's just so cute. Um, but I think that that might be too bright. So I think I might use the Fenty eye highlighter and cinnamon. Cinnamon. Cinnamon with an S and it's like that. So I think this might go better. So I just basically highlight like so. Those are my <laughs> highlighting points. Do that. This is my highlighter blending brush. It's so pretty. I got it in the Ipsy bag too. And it's just like sparkly. There's like two little red stones here. And I just blend it all in. I 
And just to add a little extra, I took this ColourPop um, highlighter and I'm just going to set it on top of it. ColourPop highlighter, she's not. Glow from within, darling. That's what you want to do. Take a very very teeny teeny brush and I'm gonna put a little bit in my inner corners even though I don't really first I'm gonna clean out any eyeshadow that's already in there. Now, last but not least, lips. I'm just gonna do my normal lip. I'm gonna do this Urban Decay liquid lipstick in this vice color. It's like my lip color, but better. And then this elf like sparkly lip gloss on top. natural lip. 
Now, last but not least, I'm just gonna put this pressed powder all over my face. Using this Real Techniques. What's the name of it? I'm just saying powder brush Real Techniques. And this is um, the Brilliant Radiance Bronze Glow powder, pressed powder in the color bronze, bronze glow. And I'm hitting pan. But this is just what I used to put like some tone thick in my face. Let me tie everything together. to set my brows. This is the Brow Precise Fiber Volume um, Maybelline Mascara Brow Gel, whatever. It's a long name. It's a lot of unnecessary wording. Um, just looks like that and I just go over them. Maybe like the front part. I suppose add little fibers like up here to fill in, but I don't know if it does it or not. Bitches just buy shit just because, basically. So I'm done. Put some of my setting spray on. This is the ColourPop setting spray. Crystal setting spray. I don't know. My mama calls me too. So I'm gonna let this dry. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Hey guys, so I am about to get ready. I'm going to a baby shower. So I'm already dressed and my hair is dead for the most part. Oh wait, I gotta get my hair dead. Okay, so my hair is already good. I don't have much time because my ride will be here soon. I just got this like roll bone over top of my dress just so I won't get any potters in here messy. So the first thing <clears throat> I do is my brows and I haven't been getting them arched because I have a mirror right here. Because I want them to go in and I'm probably going to get them like um get them, what do you call it, <laughs> um, uh, lasered or like whatever that thing is that she does. Um, so I use the Fenty Tail Stick and this is the color Suede, you guys can see. And it's like a light taupey color. And I use this to carve out my brows. All of my makeup products are like super, super dirty. Like I really need to seriously clean them. But I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Um, two-sided brush. It has a spoolie on it and then it has the um, thing, yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah, so I'm gonna do that. So, yeah, I'm going to my boss's baby shower, and just excited to go somewhere on a Sunday. 
Cause I'm normally like just in my room in my bed all certain. And um, if anybody knows me, they know like I suck at brows, so. <laughs> but I feel like I've gotten better over the years. Like if you go back to like my old videos, <laughs> you'll see like they're horrible. So yeah, basically I just carved them out to kind of like get a shape. One eyebrow always comes out better than the other, but what do you want to do? Again, so that's basically the brows, the shaping of the brows. And then I take, this my flat brush, flat brush. I take like a flat brush, like this is like tapered, and I just blend it out because you have to blend, darling. You have to blend it out. And, um, turn the Kardashian feel just a little bit um so yeah so now I'm just I hope you can hear me because I got like my ear on my TV's on I don't want to play music because I don't want to get copy written and y'all know how that shit go not a chica not a chica um I've been recently loving DJ Khaled's new song No Brainer with Justin Bieber, Quavo, and Chance the Rapper. So my shit. So that's the brows, and I have a few little brow liners. <sighs> that's an actual eyeliner. Let me follow one. That suits my color. Because my eyebrow color is very, very. Weird. Let's see. Really looks too dark. I'm gonna go with this. And I lightly fill them in. Like I don't. I don't go too crazy. Just gotta sharpen it. Just a little bit. And it looks like that. And I just kind of like just like fill in just a little bit. Mo uh, mainly on like the ends. And as I feel, I kind of like spool away. Just like it to keep, I like to keep it as natural looking as possible. See how it's like a little bit darker. And how that one's like a little bit lighter. So I'll be right back. So, these are the brows. Um, 
we're we're not gonna really get into them because like I told you they do what they want to do and we're just gonna let them do what they want to do okay so um it's summertime and I don't really do um like a real foundation I do have like some Fenty foundation and my um matte poreless foundation um but I am just going to use this concealer right here it's a wet n wild cruelty free concealer and I also have this um concealer from covergirl queen collection so it's between the two of these um I think I'm going to go with both of them so I'm going to use the queen collection first and I'm just gonna put that okay I can't see in the happy finder so put that underneath my eye and I don't really put it all over my face I just really put it underneath my eyes and this is very very light like it's super super watery and super light and I don't mind it because like I said I don't really care for too much on my face when it comes to like foundation or anything like that so I just put it in a spot to my face and it's like really like matches my skin complexion like to the taste so that's why I use the other one just to give it a little bit it's a little bit lighter so and I just do a dot a dot of this and this is the <laughs> concealment of my face Uh, for my buffing brush, I use this ultimate blending brush and it's from e.l.f. and it's dirty per usual. But, and I bring the concealer over my eyes, underneath my eyes, like all that stuff. So yeah, so this is like how it turned out. You can still see like my natural skin, but it's just a little bit filtered, you know? Which is what we like. So, once that's buffed in, oh, let me tell you the colors. The cover girl is in the cover Coco. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it's the Queen Cover Girl collection. They still have it. Mind you, I told you. It's very liquidy, but it works very well. And then this Wet n Wild cruelty free drugstore concealer is it's in the color 7A03 that's oh dark cocoa it's so crazy because this is in the color dark cocoa and it's lighter than the cocoa cover girl but the cheap shit that's just how they do us, that's how they do us. so what I'm gonna do now is set my concealer with this elf um translucent setting powder and it is my fave where is my flat brush where is it oh, i think it's right here so i am using i don't want to smell powder the uh powder brush it's like a flat top elf powder brush and i just get all of that in there get all those juices and i just I really press this in my face because I have like I think I have combination skin I think I have like oily and dry skin depending on what it is so we're just gonna pinch this in okay I'm gonna 
not in dry skin. Let's just say I have oily skin, but I do get some dry patches. So that's why I say combination skin. So whether the terminology is accurate or not, I'm no beauty guru. I just watch and I do this. How I do it. So that's that. So now we're gonna move on to eyeshadow. Um, I'm not a huge eyeshadow fan. I don't know if I want to use the Urban Decay Troublemaker Palette or the Tarlet Palette. Let's see the colors. So, the colors are very similar, but I have, I think I might do this one. This is this. I might do this one, but this one. It's kind of like too dark. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do the Tarlet palette. I'm gonna do this one, and I probably do this as my base color. It's just so neutral. <laughs> I just need a blank. Okay, so I'm gonna use this eyeshadow brush. This is the Deluxe Crease Brush from uh, Real Techniques. That. And I'm just going to take this like brown color and I pop that all over just to neutral everything. Oh, you know what? I know what color I'm going to use on top of this. I do have a Chanel eyeshadow palette. Sorry, you guys can't see what I'm doing, but it is very, very crucial <laughs> because I'm blind, so I need to see. And I'll just, just go back and forth. I don't have a real like method. And that's that. And I do have a. I do want to do something sparkly for some reason. Um, it is. this I got this in my Etsy bag it is a it's called eyeshadow intense gaze I don't know exactly from what but it's like this like pretty like mauve dark mauve color and I'm just gonna use this base shadow brush for techniques I think I should have switched the brushes right <laughs> and I'm just gonna pop a little bit on just like not too quick Same to the other eye. I'm just I'm dropping stuff and I'm just like dabbing it on. It's so pretty. It just looks so pretty. Oh my god, I love this color so much. Now to blend it out, I am going to go into the Troublemaker palette and take like that first color right there and just like brighten up a little bit above it. I'm going to use this, um, I don't even know, I think I got this like a pack of these brushes from like Marshalls or like um, Ross and I really like them though, these are good brushes and I'm just going to take some like on there. Blend around it. Blend it out. Blends everything all together. Yeah. 
All right. Like I said, I had to move pretty quickly. So we're not going to spend too much time on makeup today. We're just going to do the video. Now we're going to curl the lashes. This is my eyelash curler. And let's not clip our eyes because I always do that. I am starving, like, I really hope there's, like, a specific Um, so yeah, lashes curl. Um, I'm gonna do two mascaras. I am going to do my Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara in the mini size. And then the, um, Ubane Mascara from Milk. Um, this is gonna, like, spread them out and elongate them and this is going to clump them together and make them nice and full. So this only thing is this um applicator it hurts sometimes like a jazz my eye. So I really gotta be careful with it. One time I did my like a whole makeup and <laughs> I completely forgot to do mascara. And I was wondering why like it looked like bald or something. It just didn't look like together. I was like, well, what is missing? I got to do a blush highlighter. I think I might have even contoured a bit. And it still was like missing something. So, oh, I have like, I'm just not a hairy person. So my lashes, my brows, everything is very, very, like light, so I had to pick shit on just to make a difference in life. Like, I don't understand. I don't know, but this is what we do. So, I don't know if you can tell it. <laughs> um, okay, can you tell? Like, like this is. Okay. I can't. You know, I can. Once I review the footage. So I'm going to do the next eye. Okay, so the Troublemaker Mascara is on, and now, like my nose is running, and now we're going to do the Milk Makeup Mascara. And this was my SHIT. I want to get the Kush one, like the applicator is just so dope. Like, I really like it a lot. So I want to get the Kush one, because I feel like that might really... I really try my hardest not to get mascara on my eyeshadow. Like, I try so hard. Because I hate that shit so much. I think for my birthday this year, though, I'm gonna get my lash extensions. Um, it's gonna be my first time getting them, so. Um, let me know that who's the best in Philly. Like, Cause I want to go there. That's pretty much all I the thing I'm going to on. Yeah. Sorry.
So she's running a little bit late too. So <laughs> not saying that we're running late, but like besides at 12 30, she says she's wanted to be here to get me at one and it's like 15 minutes away, so probably gonna be like a half an hour to 45 minutes away. Which is fine because I still gotta finish my makeup, take pictures, upload them, and all that good mood. So that's cool. I actually gotta call my mom. And now I'm gonna do the other eye. Hello. Hey, where you at? At the flea market. Uh, what time y'all coming back? Um, we probably packed up like two. Oh, okay. Which one y'all at? Uh, Tree Rose. It's right here. Tree Rose Firehouse on Street Road in Vincel. Yeah. Um, cause Mike asked me that, um, I'm going to a baby shower. So, I said I could see if my mom can get her. Uh, what time are you trying to drop her off? Like, he said like 1.30. If not, he can drop her off to his dad or he can bring her to where y'all at. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, that's fine. Just let me know. Yeah, I'm gonna call him and ask him what he wanna do. Okay. Alright. Alright. Alright, bye bye. So yeah, I'm calling. I had to call my mom because me and this dad was asking to drop off a little bit early, but I had plans today. So he's like, Hello. Hey, uh, my mom and dad are in Trevos. They're doing like a flea market. Um, okay. you can drop her off to them up there if you want, or okay. you can. I'm probably gonna ask my dad. Yeah, but I said, or you can just call and ask your dad. So. Okay. How are you? I'm good. Okay, good. How how's the baby? Good. Growing. Well, I don't know what I'm having yet. I got like two more weeks to find out. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, so exciting. Yeah. Okay, I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye bye. Uh, so yeah, so that's done. But now look at the lashes. Hey, he said he just want to ask his dad because, um, yeah, that's all. Okay. <laughs> um, but I was going to ask you anyway if, if I can, if you can watch her tomorrow for me for a little bit. Right. Because, um, Tiki's want, Tiki want to have like a little birthday thing at this bar. But she said it started at 7, so I was only going to stay till like 9. Anyway. All right. All right. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I want to put some on my lips. This is my Hemp's Pure Herbal Extract. Uh, I guess like lip balm, chapstick stuff. It just moisturizes it on. Stuff says she'll be here at one. So it give me time to take some pictures outside too. Well, it's 12.20. Yeah, she said I'm hopping in the shower and then I'm on my way, sorry, I should be there at one. I'm like, that's perfect. Did you, did you say that? Yeah. Awesome. Alright, so lips are not crusty and dry looking. Now I'm debating on if I want to do blush because I like kind of like contour my blush, but I think the eyes is like enough. So I'm just gonna highlight what well, highlighter. I got this little Becca highlighter it looks like this and it's just so cute 
um but i think that that might be too bright so i think i might use the fenty eye highlighter and cinnamon 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 with an s and it's like that so i think this might go better so I just basically highlight like so those are my <laughs> highlighting points do that this is my highlighter blending brush it's so pretty i got it in the ipsy bag too and it's just like sparkly it has like two little rhinestones here and i just blend it all in And just to add a little extra, I'm gonna take this ColourPop um, highlighter and I'm just gonna set it on top. ColourPop highlighter, she's not. Glow from within, darling. That's what you wanna do. Take a very very teeny teeny brush and I'm gonna put a little bit in my inner corners even though I don't really first I'm gonna clean out any eyeshadow that's already in there Now, last but not least, lips. I'm just gonna do my normal lip. I'm gonna do this Urban Decay liquid lipstick in this vice color. It's like my lip color, but better. And then this elf like sparkly lip gloss on top.
feel like I'm a little bit more color. natural lip. Now, last but not least, I'm just going to put this pressed powder all over my face. Using this Real Technique. What's the name of it? I'm just saying powder brush Real Techniques and this is um, the Brilliant Radiance Bronze Glow Powder Press Powder in the color Bronze Bronze Glow. And I'm hitting pan. But this is just what I used to put like some tone back in my face. Let me tie everything together. to set my brows. This is the Brow Precise Fiber Volume um, Maybelline Mascara Brow Gel, whatever. It's a long name. It's a lot of unnecessary wording. Um, just looks like that and I just go over them. Maybe like the front part. to add little fibers like up here to fill in but I don't know if it does it or not bitches just buy shit just because basically so I'm done put some of my set and spray on this is the color pop set and spray Crystal set in spray. I don't know. I'm on the clouds. So I'm gonna let this dry. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so this is my makeup. Done. Done, done, done. And I'm about to go outside and take some pictures for Instagram. So make sure you guys are follow me on, following me on that because then you get to see all my cute pictures. You ready to go do this? Hope you guys enjoyed this little get ready with me. It's like a mini one. I didn't show you like step by step. I showed you step by step like the base basic parts, but I didn't show you like what I used to cleanse my face, what I used to moisturize my face and all that stuff. But if you want to see something like that, comment down below. I'm trying to get you out of the frame. But if you want to see something like that, comment down below. If not, here you go. Bye-bye.